So welcome back to the web plate video tutorials. And the first part of this whole series is going to be covering the blue plate um, plugin from web plate. And what blue plate is, is pretty much the uh, grid system for web plate. It's really simple to use and um, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started. If you've gone to my website, you've gotten the starter files for this uh, video. And what you'll see is a um, CSS file called demo.css along with an index.html file that has sort of uh, a very basic usage in the columns. And here's what your page should look like if you do have all the files. And let's go ahead and start covering uh, some of the classes. Now you'll notice here that the first div we have, or the containing div of all these spans, has a class of row. And the row class is used pretty much to uh, wrap around all the spans. By default, it has a width of 100%, meaning it'll be 100% of its containing uh, element, which in this case is the body. So it's 100% of the full page. The span-2 class means the span or the column within the row will only span uh, the width of two columns, as you can see here. By default, the web plate, uh, blue plate plugin has a max number of 12 columns. So I have six here, and that's what they look like. Go ahead and go back to full screen there. Now there's a third class that I want to show you and it's called the limit class div.limit and this is sort of the wrapping um, containing class that goes around the row and by default it has a width of I think 1100 the limit class also adds margin for centering your entire, con uh, your entire row of spans let me show you a quick example of some usage I'm just gonna open up a div with a row and inside that there's going to be another div with a class of span dash we'll go 12 and this is going to be your full column let me refresh here as you can see it's just one full column so the max number is 12 and of course the smallest one is 1 